Hi, Pisces. Welcome to your What Do I Need to Do reading for June 14th through July 13th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below, as well as the Recommend a Reader shout out, which goes to hmm, Tarot Spirit. You can check her out, hopefully. Give her a shout out, show her some love, subscribe. If you like what she has to say, it's Tarot Spirit. Whoopsie, look at that. Um, and her link is in the description box below. So we've got Seven of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Um, maybe being disappointed, but realizing you need to walk away because out of self-preservation and self-worth and just continue. But this could involve somebody that you just, it's like, it's not worth it because you're, you're not... I mean, on his face, it's like, you know, I'm tired of supporting you or I'm tired of having to work for what you won't work towards. And I'm sad about that because we had something great once, but I need to, you know, I, I'm, it's about self-respect and self-worth at this point. And I'd rather be by myself taking care of my own business. I'm still going off of those cards. I'm not just rambling. Um, then to be, you know, I just have regrets about being with someone that I don't feel like gives back what I'm giving. That's what those four cards were because we had the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So that's about self-worth. And rather, rathering to be by yourself than, you know, somebody that's not going to, because you're like, I'll take care of me and mine. I'm fine, but I'm not going to dead weight, you know, Pisces, what does Pisces need to do? Pisces. What does Pisces need to do? So we got Knight of Wands. That could be Leo. Alright. Oh, good gracious. Okay. So we've got the three of cups and the two of cups. So perhaps this is dating and falling in love, right? We're out there, we're dating, we're falling in love. What are we gonna do? But we've got something that is holding us back. What is it? Feeling dis so we got two, three, four cups here. Okay. I don't think this is about being disappointed or I, I think this might be that you need to, um, there's something you need to give attention to because while you might be out there trying to get after it and date and have fun and meet people and fall, but there's something that still is connected to you from your past that might get in the way and maybe you're recognizing that. Like, I need to throttle back here. I need to slow down. I need to think about something because something is gonna prevent me from getting close to this person. It's an issue from the past, probably connected with your last love relationship, let's be honest, um, that might rear its ugly head again with this relationship you're in now. Because it looks like you might've found somebody that you feel quite connected to. Two of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Five of Cups, two, three, four, five of Cups, nine of Pentacles, damn it. Queen of Pentacles, okay, what's going on? What is going on with you, Pisces? This could be Capricorn, this could be Capricorn. We got Capricorn showing up twice here, also Leo. Could be Leo. So, can you see? Not really. All right, let's move you forward here, okay, so. These are so slickery and, and glossy that it's kind of sliding around all over the place. All right. So we got the Four of Cups. Why? That's, that's throttling back, needing to give some time, think about some things, perhaps wondering if, um, okay, you know, I'm, I'm content here, but I've still got something that is affecting me. And it's, is it because... Is it the money issue again? Look at this. We got a lot of money here. We got, well, not money, but we got, we've got the concern for state safety, material things, money, security, stability. What's this four of coins about? Coins, four of cups about for Pisces. This is four of cups for Pisces. Perhaps you're wondering if the right thing is being done. If this is in fact secure and stable like you might want it to be, things might have progressed rather quickly. And now you you might be having your doubts. You might be going like, you know, is it, did we move too quick here? Did we kind of rush into this? Because I'm starting to wonder if this is the best decision. I'm starting to wonder if I've made the right decision. I'm starting to wonder if I'm being, if I'm going to get 
what I'm given in this relationship because we got the self-esteem card here which is the nine of pentacles so am I getting what I should be getting out of this relationship or am I you know being prioritized am I getting what I'm giving am I going to be made a priority am I treated the way I should be treated in this relationship this is this might be somebody that you're dating so you, this is like you have these feelings for someone but you're, this is dating. This is there's there's other people involved. There's lots of wands in the air. Dating here, dating there. So is this someone that you feel the feels for? But you're thinking maybe you need to throttle back because maybe it's not what you thought it was in the beginning. Like you kind of rushed into your feelings. Or is this you're still disappointed and stuck on somebody from your past and you might be dating now, but you're kind of not able to get into it because you're still dealing with somebody from your past or you're still dealing with the issues of fairness from your past. But I think this might be somebody that you're dating now, not seriously, but you're thinking about taking things to the next level or you want things to progress to go from dating to just you two. But there's you're wondering if you're not getting your due in the relationship, if you're not being prioritized, if this is somebody that because they don't want to commit is it's basically getting in the way of your feelings for them it's this ace of pentacles this ace of pentacles okay so here's the thing the knight of pentacles is it can be someone making an offer right but the Knight of Pentacles is all about safety, security, and stability. And they know what they're worth. They, they're showing you what they have to offer. So it's not so much about showing or making an offer as it is about showing what they want as well as what they're willing to offer. Because this is about stability and security. So I want my offer matched. They're better served to sit and wait for others to approach them to make the offer to them and then they can be discerning and they can say does this match with what i have to offer but this isn't about them you know i mean this horse is standing still here right so that with this could be a stable steady steady secure offer but i don't think so because we got disappointment here i think this is about you pulling back i don't think this is about you making an offer i think this is about you redirecting your efforts for security stability and balance and a new beginning into yourself. I know that sounds silly, like, oh, invest in yourself. But honestly, this isn't about extending an offer to this person. This is about you holding on to your security and, and not making that offer. Standing there, instead of pursuing it, this is about you going, hey, I have this to offer, and this is you investing in yourself, taking care of yours and your own. This is self-esteem and self-worth. And it looks like you're not getting your needs met here. And that's why we got the Five of Cups. That's why we got the Devil. And that's why we got the Two of Pentacles. Because you're not, it's not going to be, a, you might be thinking about, but there's disappointment here. And there's thinking about it, needing to throttle back, needing to slow down. This happened quickly. Wanting to find that person. And am I making this out more than it is? Because I really want that connection, but I'm not finding it. And I don't, now upon further you know, reflection, I don't know that this is all that solid or strong of a foundation. And I don't know that I'm going to get my needs met with this person after all. So instead of offering, this is about you staying put with whatever you can offer, holding back from making that offer, holding it for yourself. The Nine of Pentacles right here. What's this Five of Cups about for Pisces? What's this Five of Cups about for Pisces? This five of cups not so again with the dating this could be somebody that doesn't isn't interested in and in being only with one person right now this is somebody that really likes to be out there in the mix of things very confident assertive goes after what they want um it's not that they're not stable it's just that nothing will get in the way of them pursuing what they want and so if they are committed, they'll, they might break that commitment if they see that something might serve them better or, you know, so th this could be an area. It doesn't have to be, but this, this right here is somebody who is more interested in dating right now than they are, um, with the commitment. Okay. What's this nine of pentacles about? What's this nine of pentacles for Pisces? 
Yeah. All right, so you're not gonna offer, okay? I'm gonna tell you what to, what do you need to do? You need to not offer to this person because it, it, they're not they're not ready. You might feel like you are. Um, you, this might be somebody that you are, but you're not on the same page. This is your interest in them. This is their interest. Dating. You're like, oh my gosh, I was dating and now I finally landed on someone. I found someone I really, but this is you not getting your needs met because they're not interested in the reciprocity and that this is, so no offering. You, you might be thinking, okay, well, if I let them know that I want, no, you already know the answer to that. This is you starting to wonder and realize, you know what, this isn't as what I thought it was. So, so let's see, this isn't, I don't feel like I'm getting, gonna get my needs met. This person wants to date, they don't wanna settle down. I have all these emotions and things happen really quickly. I think, that I'm gonna make them an offer of stability and security. Doesn't make sense, does it? No, it does not. Sometimes people go, well, hey, let's do this and that'll, that'll, no, nope. that's the worst possible thing you could do. It doesn't make any sense. There's no flow there like this. Making an offer of security and stability when you know someone is not gonna be able to give that to you. This is a choice to date, to wanna to do what they wanna do, but you're already feeling like this is not somebody who's giving you what you need regardless of your connection to them, meaning regardless of your commitment. If you're not getting your needs met when you're just dating, this is not somebody that's gonna give you what you need if you ask for a commitment. You're still gonna not be satisfied. You're still gonna be feeling lack from them. Cause it's not about, oh, well everything will be fine if, if there's a commitment. No, people's character don't change that way. Like, oh, well they changed after we got committed. Well, a lot of times that's for the worse. <laughs> a lot of times it's like, you know, someone, not all the time, but sometimes it's almost like, well, it just makes people get complacent. Or if you if you invest in somebody that isn't really um, showing a whole heck of a lot before there's a solid commitment, they're going to be like, well, you, that's what you accepted me for. Why should I have to try harder now that we're committed? You know, what are you trying to change me for? Why'd you make a, a commitment or an offer if you didn't like me the way I was back then. Did you ask for a commitment to try and get me to come up to your level? Cause you, this is what, you know what I mean? That's what, that's what this is. So this is not about you making an offer to kind of see if you can get your needs met. This is about looking at who they are and how they are and realizing I'm not getting my needs met with this person. It doesn't make any sense for me to offer anything, obviously, right? And instead holding on to that offer and saving it for someone else because this is the three of wands holding on to this, pulling back. This could be very well a breakup or deciding not to see this person anymore and casting your nets elsewhere. This could be um, thinking about basically going back and dating from a different selection of people. Um, but this, this could still also be dating. Or this could be you deciding to pull back while they date and do whatever because you don't want to be a part of a third party situation. Like you're where your head's at, you want the commitment, you want the connection. They don't right now. That's They don't want that. So this is you pulling back and waiting and being by yourself. Although I doubt it. I don't think that would be palatable for most of you. So this could be you deciding to date and not just concentrate your efforts on this one person anymore. Okay, what's this Queen of Pentacles about? For Pisces, what's this Queen of Pentacles about? Okay, so right here we got the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. This is about you transitioning from kind of a wonky situation, realizing that, you know what, this isn't going anywhere. It's kind of holding me back from what I want. I just really want to be with this person, but I have to recognize I'm not getting my needs met. They're just not where I'm at right now. They want to date. Maybe it'd be great if they didn't, but they're my, I, we're, no, we're not going to mesh. So... Instead, my attention's turned towards myself and building security and stability for my future and taking care of me and my own self-care, you know, just doing, doing you, maybe dating, fine, but this is about you making decisions and making things happen for yourself. It, there might even be a shift to where it's, you're kind of stepping back from dating for a while and just concentrating on your stability and security for the future. This could be a shift from, you know what, I think I'm going to pull back from dating. Maybe I'll date superficially a little bit, 
but it could just be your attention shifts to, you know, I'm just going to kind of work for a while and coast. I don't really want to date because this kind of did a number on you or it could be that you're feeling that way because either dating in general has not been satisfying for you or this one person in particular that you really kind of had some feelings for, but it didn't seem to pan out. And you're just like, you know, I'm going to give it up for a little while here. It's, I'm not getting my needs met. I really like this person in particular, but they they don't want to slow down. All right. This is this also could be you being disenchanted with what's out there, with with how you're dating, with who you're meeting, that sort of thing. And so this is about you taking a rest from that and just um, figuring out what you want to do next. All the while working, um, taking care of yourself, supplying for yourself. You know what I mean? Doing your own thing. Two cards of independence and and solitude here. Could be male or female. What else for Pisces? What else for Pisces? What else for Pisces? Pisces. Okay, so this could be career. Maybe this is career and socializing with friends. Focus on career. Maybe that's what this gets because the fox also represents career. Focusing um, on your career and stability and, and career issues that are coming up. We got two cards of that. Or no, actually, <clears throat> excuse me, Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. All those cards are about career, right? Um, job, security, stability, that. And the focus is on that and <clears throat> just long-time friendships, socializing, or... This is this could be just reinvesting or refocusing on a long-term strategy with your career or a long-time career. This is, could be just job focus, taking the focus off of dating right now. If it is not, this could be somebody who is duplicitous, someone that is uh, dishonest or manipulative and has ulterior motives that you might have thought they were trustworthy. So someone that you think is a friend or as a, as a long-term trustworthy companion, in fact, may not be. That could be that somebody that you've been, well, dating here. And even though you know that they're dating, there could be more that you find out that you're like, you know what, I didn't know that about that person. I'm finding out some things that I don't like that I didn't know about. I feel like there were some shady shenanigans. This card right here, the Two of Pentacles, is about, sometimes it can be about dishonest um, dealings with money. Like maybe the person that you're with is not, like they're, they're kind of taking money out of your account when you don't know or do they go into your wallet. This is somebody that's kind of, oh, look over here while I kind of take from you and not, this, sometimes this is somebody that's not on the up and up about money. Just saying. So this could be somebody that you thought you could trust that you find out maybe you can't or that has ulterior motives. If it's just, if it's not anything with money, it could just be that someone doesn't want to, they're not being on the up and up with you about the dating situation. Like you might think you're the only one and you're kind of finding out that you're not. But we've got dishonesty and a long-term companion here. Loyalty and friendship. So I don't know how that would resonate other than this person right here. Perhaps this is speaking of a, a past relationship that you felt like somebody was dishonest or manipulative about. And so maybe that's what's getting in the way of this present relationship. Not that this is not that this is all in your head. Like this person, whoever you're thinking about in particular, they're not ready to settle down or commit or connect. But it's not because they're being dishonest or duplicitous either. I mean, it looks like they're pretty out in the open. It could be that you find some things out about them that you're like, oh, I don't know if I want to connect with you anymore because I don't like that about you. But I don't think they're dishonest about the dating. I think you know that about them. You just would like the situation to be different. All right. Just, I, okay, what's this devil about up here? Like, really, what, what is Because it can't just be that this is pretty heavy duty. So what is it? Because if we're just talking about something that's holding you back, that could be like another minor card in the deck. What's this devil about here? The devil. So is this is this about somebody from your past? Because this is new right here. This is from your past, isn't it? This is about a failed relationship or. Um, maybe the way you do relationship, the patterns of behavior that is not working. 
maybe, but I, I, it could be that, but I feel like you're still stuck on that. And it, that's what it felt like that there was something, because it did, this didn't feel like it kind of related, like it wasn't the best situation for you, but this felt like you were carrying something forward. And it looks like this, it's either ideas about relationship or a particular past relationship. This could also be talk, needing to talk to a therapist about your misgivings, your distrust, your profound like aversion to being vulnerable in a relationship. This right here, that could also be that. Just random throwing that in there. Um, okay, so you're right to be not satisfied with this person, but this person, I don't feel like they're lying to you. I know that the fox showed up, but I think that might have to do with your security. I don't feel like this person's lying to you. And I think this issue is about somebody from your past because this right, this situation with your present person happened pretty quickly. And I had to say, coming off of this, good for you for being like, you know what, I'm not getting my needs met with this person. This is not self-doubt. This is seeing the person for what it is or the situation for what it is and going, ah, oh, damn it. I don't think this is as solid as I want it to be or what I need it to be, you know? Okay, so we got the nine of wands and the 10 of cups here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's these little markers. So nine of wands. So that's being like knowing what you want. That's that's realizing, you know what? I'm disappointed, but I'm not gonna make that offer because it doesn't make sense to do so. That's that strength and wisdom that the nine of wands is. Standing your ground, knowing what's right, what to do, what to protect and guard, and the strength and faith and resilience, all of that. So it's doing the right thing. And then we got the Ten of Cups. So basically you're holding out for what's gonna make you truly happy. You recognize that it's not there yet. It's not here, this is not it. I'm disappointed, but I'm also wise enough to know that it's going to come. I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna do next. I think I'm gonna take a breather from dating and I'm just gonna concentrate on my job and building my you know, stability and security for the future. All right, what else does Pisces need to know? <clears throat> what else does Pisces need to know? Pisces, what does Pisces need to know? Okay, so that's 10 of cups and this is, I turn it this way. It could either go this way or this way, but I always turn clockwise. So this would be the Knight of Pentacles reversed. So we got the 10 of Pentacles, which is stability, um, security, a stable relationship or stability for the future, either one. Um, and the Knight of Pentacles reversed, which is as far, if you're looking for stability for the future, it is not going to be by making an offer with this person in particular, or anybody that you've been dating for a while, because you're still kind of hung up on this past person or the past issues in relationships that you had in the past. So your job is to hold on to your security and keep it to yourself and build it and just invest in yourself, basically. Any kind of money or property, whatever, that's for you right now. It's not for you to enjoin with someone. No offers to be made at this time. Uh, -uh. It's not the right time for you to to build that secure or to make, to connect with somebody in like a marital type situation, communal, you know, community monies, property, marriage, that's uh, not right now. This is about you focusing on yourself and what you need to do. All right. Okay. I hope this was helpful, Pisces. I hope to see you in the next reading. Thank you for stopping by and don't worry. It's going to work out just not with this person, but this is, this is your time to focus on you and is not the time to just build up that nest egg. Take care of you right now. The time will come, but it's not right now. Okay. I hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.